There was a deer and a grizzly bear, must have been 300 yards away. And the deer noticed it. And it was eating, but it was eating very cautiously, always looking to the bear. And I'm saying, if it could notice a bear at 300 yards and be cautious of it, why can't it know a Ford 250 barreling down a road? Because it's not natural. Figure it out! I mean, no, 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 it's no, a no, mammal, no, no, it's got no, no, a brain! No, no. And how come we haven't killed all the stupid deer by now, so the ones that are left are the ones that recognize that cars kill them? Because they're all stupid. Okay. <laughs> they just have really good sense. Senses. They so have just, senses that are designed to avoid predation. They but they're living with us now, you know? But how long have Mice they had and rats headlights? figured out how to coexist with humans. Rats they, are very they, intelligent. They're very, they figured this out, okay? Yeah, but deer don't know what to do with headlights and cars. It's a completely unnatural thing. So everyone that doesn't, they die, and the ones that have a little bit of genetic variation that figures it out, they'll survive. Sort of, because then they get horny. The problem with <laughs> deers, the, if you look at Sorry, the number of Sorry, I don't know anything deaths, about the sex life of deer. I do. <laughs> 